Okay, everybody, here we go. We'll go for a walk now. I knew I, I got a fancy stand here. Older thing. Not even. About 5.30 in the morning, I guess. <coughs> Best time to be out there. Ain't nobody around. Well, not usually in our little town. You go into the cities, there's people going 24 hours a day, but here in this little, our little town, they, they roll the sidewalks up about 8 o'clock. So, it's getting crazy, folks. I don't know if you guys, I can't remember his name. I, I don't remember a lot of that stuff, but this guy back in, he's a CIA guy way up there at one time, I guess. He uh, said in 89, uh, he predicted a few things. And uh, one of the things he predicted was the COVID in, in 2019, which he's fucking dead on about that. Well, next year he's called for, he said there's supposed to be this alien invasion, fake alien invasion, which, I kind of got a feeling if there's any kind of alien invasion, it's going to be a fake one because they've been around here for a long time. If they want to invade us or fuck us up, they would have done it a long time ago. Long before we had weapons, I could fuck with them because I don't know. Uh, I don't know much about it, but I think atomic weapons might fuck them guys up. Right? I don't know, but... <laughs> so, um... Yeah, that's one thing I've seen. Oh, sorry, man. Not very good with this holder thing, so we'll do the best. I guess this must be for kids to play with or something, eh? Huh? There we go. Bros. <laughs> must be for kids, I guess. Yeah, and I, I guess it must be because of the internet now and you can get a lot more information and stuff. But it seems like there's there's mass shootings every day in the state, sometimes more than one. And, and remember, people, it's not guns that kill people, it's people that kill people. And... <clears throat> you can make all the laws about guns you want. But if you outlaw guns, only outlaws will have guns, right? That's fucking greeny. It's beautiful here. I'm so lucky to live in this country. Well, any of us that live here where we can uh, walk to the kitchen sink and get a drink, clean water, or fairly clean water. We're lucky, man. You know, if you got a roof over your head and food in your cupboard, friends, you're better off than about 75% of the people in this fucking world. Right? Just look around a little. Yeah, this new phone I got, not that matters, but it's like waterproof. I can shoot film underwater. Some kind of military grade thing. I didn't drop it. And all kinds of stuff. There's a creek hole. A bit of a dam there. This is the creek. It runs right beside behind my house. Yeah. And, uh, I see this about that uh, Sound of Freedom movie. I don't know if they're going to have... Oh, shit. Good thing I'm not too deaf. I lost my smoke spell. Um, I don't know if they're going to have it in the, the city I'm close to here. There's some broke through that fancy. I tell you, bear. Deer's not heavy enough to do that. 
Anyways, the Sound of Freedom movie. I don't think it's going to be in our city here. And here's where I am. I'll, uh, I'll see. If it is, I'll go see it. But you don't see anything about it on the mainstream media. Right? You don't see nothing at all about it. And I feel like it's for, for the dogs. Well, fuck the dogs. I'm going to spend a little more money on the children that are fucked up. Right? But, regardless, that movie, I, I'm sure you, the majority of you must have at least heard something about it. It's all about child trafficking. I mean, I hate to say it, but our governments are just about the biggest proprietors of that shit. Especially in the U.S. Well, here too. 43,000 kids a year go missing in Canada. It's fucking stupid. If 43,000 kids a year were dying somewhere for some reason in Canada, they wouldn't fucking waste a dime trying to figure out what the fuck's going on or what vaccine they could sell or what they could fucking do to save them. <clears throat> right? I look at it this way. If they ain't putting all your effort into stopping that as a government or law enforcement agencies, then your compromise and your sympathizer and you're probably more than likely a fucking pedophile as it is, right? So, here, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to blind you guys. But, hey, the sun's just coming over the mountain. <laughs> Hope that didn't blind anybody. Fucking blind me. Anyways, um, I don't know what the website is. I think it's soundsoffreedom.com. But if you go there, you can get a free ticket if you don't have the money. And I think that's just awesome of a company to do it. That's showing you they don't give a flying fuck about money. All they do is they care about these little children. Right? Well, to me, that's the way it looks anyway. What I do every morning, people, I try to go for a walk every morning. Right? We got some nice places here in my little town. Yeah. Oh, this is so easy. Dogs can fucking swim. Yeah, see here? Hey, you drink the water out of that creek, wouldn't fucking hurt you at all. Maybe in the springtime, it might a little get some beaver fever, but. Little story a few years ago, uh, we were uh, camping in the campground, and me and Savannah were, were swimming in the creek. And there's these two young girls, well, ladies, whatever, um, from Germany there camping. Well, here, I'll show you something. Oh, where the hell? I'm not really good at this. Oh, there we go. See that? See that core? You take that and chew up. Good stuff. <laughs> Anyways, me and Savannah were uh, swimming in a creek, fucking around. And I took a plastic bottle, filled up out of the water, the creek started drinking. Them two fucking German girls were just like, What? What are you doing? Can you do that here? You can't fucking drink that. You get sick. I was like, Holy Christ, man. No, I'm not on the fucking water here at all. Drink that any day to leave. And uh, they're telling me you can't do that in Germany. Doesn't matter what creek, where it is. Well, I guess running off the mountains way up there somewhere, you'd be okay, but are you standing anywhere else you're contaminated? Which is, what the fuck, man? That's how these countries are, are turning out to be. Sorry if I'm looking sideways here with the camera, but I'm looking into this sun, so I don't want to put it that way, because that's all you guys will see. Yeah. So. 
Well, folks, uh, I hope you're all good and healthy and, and all that stuff. It's going to be a hot motherfucker out here today. Probably 34 or something. See, when I grew up, it was Fahrenheit, right? Then in 77, that fucking cocksucking queer motherfucker Trudeau. Well, now in his fucking bag, it's on. And I ain't against fucking queers, but believe me, do whatever the fuck you want. It's just an expression, just the way it is. Right? Um, he brought in that fucking metric system. Well, everything changed. I can't tell you how fucking hot it is now. Well, I never, you know, I mean, it used to be 70, 80, 90 degrees, whatever. Now it's some stupid fucking Celsius shit. So... And uh, change all the roadside in Canada. All the speed limits had to be signed. Ch signs had to be changed. I mean, well, how much did that cost the taxpayers for some stupidity? Right? Like, when I bought my 68 Lincoln, my son Rick was out looking at the car. He goes, Dad, this car was made in the States. This is what makes you think that. He says, well, it says miles per hour in the dashboard, not kilometers. <laughs> I started laughing. Suddenly, this car was made in 1968. There's no such thing as kilometers in Canada for another nine years. Okay, everybody. Be safe. And as always, a cat.